guys. I had a wonderful day at work today. Um, it was just really good. It was sunny today um, in California and stuff like that. Um, I just want to say, who is loves reality shows? I love reality shows. My favorite, favorite, favorite reality show is The Biggest Loser. My favorite person is Bob and Jillian. Jillian is a, such a good person. I mean, I know that from the first couple of seasons, I don't know how many seasons, I wasn't a big fan with her because I thought she was strict. But then, lately, I mean, later on, I, it grew on, she grew on me. I think it's because the reason she was hard on people, or she didn't like when people were quitting, quitters too, is because she's trying to get them motivated. If she doesn't be hard on them, she's not being motivated. She is a, such a good trainer. I mean, I would love to meet her. Bob, I love, I'm since The Biggest Loser started, I mean, sorry, don't tell my husband this, but I think he's cute, Bob is. But, um, I like the way they do the workouts and stuff. I mean, I like Bob doing the spin clap, the spinning for the bikes and stuff. Julian gets people to run on the treadmill, do these good exercises for people to work out. I mean, I think it's so awesome. I mean, I would love to meet him someday. Maybe I will someday. But all the contestants that were on Biggest Loser, I mean, I'm so proud. I mean, they lose weight. Like, last season, Mike won. I mean, oh, gosh, he lost so much weight. Danny was the second, I think, the second one after, before him. But everything, everybody was doing so good. I mean, it's just an amazing show. Like, I like when Bob had a challenge on Facebook saying, challenge people for one month. To see if people can stop drinking soda. I tried not to drink soda, but it was so hard. But everything else is good with the reality shows I like. I like two. Is American Got Talent? That's my sec. That's my third. And then I love the new show of Losing Jillian. I think she's such a good person on that. That was, she deserves her own show. Hopefully someday Bob will get her his own show because he would be good. He's a really good person. Really nice person and stuff like that. Right now, I heard that Biggest Loser, they were taping Biggest Loser for next season. So that'd be so awesome. Maybe they'll have the couples. Maybe they'll have the regulars and stuff. And I like Donald Trump too. The princess, you're fired. But two is I like sports too. I think you guys know that I do. You know, I'm a Special Olympics athlete. Um, this Saturday, I'd start a season of... Special Olympics softball. I'll be on a different team because it's just harder to do um, one set at 6 o'clock on Monday and Thursday because by the time I get home, I don't know what time, time my boss will get me home. Cause, and then I have to rush over there and not eat dinner and all that and get changed. So it would be hard. So that's why. But all the Special Olympics coaches are so cool. My favorites are, they just all my favorite. All the athletes are good too. I mean, too. I mean, I'm just glad I'm in it and stuff. Um, I have four moms, three dads, lots of brothers, a lot of, and one sister and stuff. But it's a long story why I have four moms and three dads. I was adopted, got to see my real parents. And then that's, you know, you get the point. <laughs> but I am married too. Been married for 10 years with my husband. He's a Christian, he does have civil palsy. But I love his wheels that he has. He has this, the, on his car he has a hand controls. They are really cool. He loves, he's such a good driver. And when he's in the wheelchair, beware. He might run you over. You know, got it. So, everything else is good. Ta-ta for now.